Let's first examine the basic principles of four-stroke engines. The four-stroke engine uses valves to operate. The valves are activated by a camshaft. Click on the key to see the engine in operation. First stroke phase. The intake valves open to let the air-petrol mixture in. Second stroke phase. The valves close while the mixture is compressed. Third stroke phase. The valves remain closed during the combustion stroke. Fourth stroke phase. The exhaust valves open to let out the exhaust gases. The valve controls always include the following components. A camshaft cam lobe, a device that can usually be adjusted which transmits the movement of the cam lobe to the valve. In our example, it is a rocker arm. And a return spring to close the valve properly. Some valve controls do not require adjustment as they have a self-adjusting hydraulic device. This lesson only covers valve gears that require checking and adjustment. You can move the mouse cursor over the components to identify them. When the valve is closed, the seal from the valve head to the valve seat needs to be perfect. The cam lobe must not put strain on the valve. The valve clearance closes the valves, whatever the engine temperature might be. The exhaust valves are exposed to much greater heat than the intake valves. The clearance advised for the exhaust valves is usually greater than for the intake valves. The valve clearance must be checked and adjusted in the event of a fault or during engine repair. The clearance should be in line with the recommended specifications to ensure good engine functioning. Click on the set of shims to see the clearance increase. Wear on the valve control can increase the clearance above the tolerance point. On the other hand, wear to the valve head and seat can reduce the clearance. The camshaft configuration must be identified before checking and adjusting the valve clearance. You should consult the technical documentation to find out what clearance has been recommended for each engine. Let's look now at the valve controls. There are different types of valve controls. Single rocker arms with pads, single or double rocker arms with wheels, a tappet with shims, and monoblock tappets. You can move the mouse cursor over the components to identify them. Renault engines have single camshafts or dual camshafts. Engines with single camshafts can have two valves per cylinder that are activated by tappets or by rocker arms or four valves per cylinder activated by dual rocker arms. Engines with dual camshafts have four valves per cylinder that are activated by tappets. Two configurations are possible. In the first configuration, one of the camshafts activates the intake valves and the other activates the exhaust valves. In the second, each camshaft activates intake valves and exhaust valves. Here are some identify the different valve controls on a four-stroke engine. In this section, we covered the following points. The valve gear has a camshaft cam lobe, a device to transmit the movement from the cam lobe to the valve, and a return spring. The valve clearance closes the valves, whatever the engine temperature might be. The valve clearance must be checked and adjusted in the event of a fault or during engine repair. But the following points. The valve gear has a camshaft cam lobe, a device to transmit the movement from the cam lobe to the valve, and a return spring.
The valve clearance closes the valves, whatever the engine temperature might be. The valve clearance must be checked and adjusted in the event of a fault or during engine repair.